Hi there, I'm Michelle, and welcome back to the Canadian History A Chronology channel. Today's episode, number 14, is on Acadia. Or maybe I should rephrase that just a bit. It should be, meanwhile, back in Acadia, as much as happening in Canada at around the same time. Acadia is not a country, or a province, or a state. It's a geographic region, generally defined as the area covering the Gaspé region of Quebec, Eastern Maine, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island. You may remember from an earlier episode that at this time, the area controlled by the English basically covered Newfoundland and the Grand Banks off the coast. And in 1604, Pierre Desmonts, along with Samuel de Champlain, tried to establish two French colonies in Nova Scotia in the Bay of Fundy, St. Croix and Port Royal. But both of these colonies floundered and were abandoned by 1607. In 1610, an associate of Desmonts, Jean de Poutrincourt, returned to Port Royal to start over and was amazed by what he found. He found that the Mi'kmaq natives had maintained the Port Royal habitation and had even kept their gardens in good order. Although Desmonts and Poutrincourt get the credit for the success of the early Acadian establishments, it was more the work of the Mi'kmaqs and their chief, Memertu. Memertu was protective of the struggling French colony, and on his deathbed, he urged his people to continue their alliance and friendship with the Acadians. By this time, the English had established a colony at Jamestown's Virginia, and in 1613, they attacked Acadia. The assault was led by Samuel Argall, a notorious privateer. Argall successfully sacked Port Royal, burnt the buildings and crops, and then carried prisoners back to Virginia. Putrincourt was away during all of this, and when he did return, he found his colony in ruins and the remaining inhabitants starving. Putrincourt gave up and returned to France, believing that Acadia would always be exposed to English attacks. Then came the Acadian Civil War. Basically, this was more of a feud than a war and was between competing French fur traders. In 1636, Charles Dolnay was the governor of Acadia, a title he inherited from his cousin. Dolnay built his fort near the site of the original Port Royal. The only problem with this was that Acadia already had a governor, Charles Latour, and his base was across the Bay of Fundy at the mouth of the St. John River. This created a system of competing monopolies with two governors and two trade zones that were ill-defined. Donnet was a high-born aristocrat and a former naval officer, while Latour was a commoner backed by merchants. Donnet wanted Latour out of the Bay of Fundy and pleaded with the French courts, but failed, so he decided to go on the offensive. The latour donnet feud would run on for five years. When Latour was away, Donnay launched a major attack and Fort Latour was captured. Now Donnay was the undisputed Lord of Acadia. Donnay drowned in 1650 and when Charles Latour returned to Acadia, he married Donnay's widow. Now with the feud over and the two sides united, they set about rebuilding the devastated Acadian fur trade. Before closing off on this topic, here's a funny story about the first Nova Scotian. In 1621, James VI of Scotland granted all of Acadia to William Alexander, who named the lands New Scotland, or Nova Scotia. Why not, he thought. There was a New England and a New France, so why not a New Scotland? It didn't matter to him that this was already an established French colony of New France and he wasn't in the position to give it away. That didn't bother Alexander, who in 1629 set out with a few settlers and arrived at Port Royal and built a settlement called Charles Fort. At the time, Port Royal was not directly under French control, so Alexander went unopposed. But in 1632, England, short on money, 
sold the early French colonies back to France and the Scottish settlement was forced to disband. Well, that's it for the short history of Acadia. Please stay tuned for the next episode, episode 15, Back to New France. Now remember, at any time, feel free to leave comments or questions below and I'll do my best to respond to them all. And please, be a true Canadian and be polite. And if you like this content, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of any new content. Thanks everyone and have a great day.